Uh, hello everybody, today I will show you how to create an awesome grid view in Universal Windows Platform uh, like this picture you see so before we start I will uh, let you know a um, library yes, I call it library Universal Windows Platform Community Toolkit okay, this library is a provider awesome control on the way I have to make or build beautiful awesome beautiful in your window universal platform so they, they provide us an example in here okay so you can see this uh, called a uh, hamburger menu and this provides okay this provides this control and also with source code okay you see the source code and okay loading okay you just okay to load okay a lot with a sample source code with sample code okay so this is uh, the application that they built for us so you also can so go to the window platform uh, so sorry windows store and download it okay so this an application that make you easy to use community toolkit control so how to make it uh, how to integrate this control into your visual studio so let's go to the browsers okay this is the way how to integrate uh, community community toolkit in universal platform universal window platform into your visual studio so I will provide this link into my video description. Okay, so let's go to see detail. Okay, so now let's step back to our grid view. Before we start to build a grid view, we must have an item or, or call, we call a data template to allow our data to display on this item. Okay, so you see, you, you, you see this item, one item, two item, three item, four item, and blah blah blah. Okay, this is, this, each item we call data template. So before we start to build this grid view, we must have a data template. So let's jump back onto my code. Okay, I already built it. Okay, so let's go to my code. So I put a drop down shadow panel. This library is uh, provided by okay, you see Microsoft.toolkit.universal window platform that I uh, that I saw you before. Okay, so before I uh, before we can call it in this XML, we must add a namespace. Okay, don't forget to add it. If you not edit, you can it. You cannot access this control. Okay. Okay. Now let's see. So I put a blur radius y shadow opacity seven uh, shadow x zero shadow y zero. Okay. So this is the uh, position shadow. So uh, you can set it and play around it by yourself. So I put a color background. Okay. Okay. This uh, maybe uh, gray or black, okay, but it's not the dark black. It's like dark white gray, okay. Yeah. Forget it. And it, uh, so it's uh, you can put color what you want. Okay, this I put matching for my uh, uh panel for my data template. Okay, what they call center, we do call line center, horizontal line center. Okay, align it into center. Okay, in this shadow panel, I put on state panel. Okay, let's let's go to see what I put in this state panel. Okay, I put it to control this image and on the block. Okay, the image that this is an image control that allows you to show and display this image. Okay, so let's see it. Okay, I put a matching. Okay, put width and height. So you can set it by yourself. Uh, you can look it's appropriate with what you want. 
okay this is a source of image that I get from a fab folder okay so let's go to my solution explorer here here okay this is my asset folder okay this is the image so if you don't for if you forget or you you don't remember how to set or uh, this structure okay i will provide you to easy tip you just select on your image go to property okay make sure you select on the image control and go to property okay you will see earn a lot of property of this image so you just uh, type in source property okay just select it and choose the image which you want that you get it from the set folder okay easy easy the other one is text block okay text block uh, is like a label okay like a label okay so i put text block in here what i said you see i said text to c sub for jump start okay i just trim it with char character clip okay if this overflow of text we will, uh, the text block will show dot 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 okay line height my height padding machine wrapping okay wrapping is mean uh, auto wrap your text okay take a line center so now let's see how this panel look like okay just start it you cannot see the shadow in this panel unless you run this application okay remember it remember it okay this is the awesome panel awesome desktop template okay so in the next video i will show you how to integrate this data template into the clip view okay now let's see you in the next video thank you for your watching Goodbye.